Hi folks and welcome back to Travels with Paddles. My name's James and today we have a short but sweet little paddle on the Chichester Canal. Today's a bit special as I'm paddling with my mum and her partner John as a guest of their club, Chichester Canoe Club. We're starting here at the clubhouse in Hunston. The Chichester Canal is a bit of a funny shape as it's basically two sides of a square with a right angle at the corner. The clubhouse at Hunston is located on the corner. So first of all, we're going to paddle out to the west and back, and then we're going to paddle up to the north and back. To the west is the sea, and to the north is Chichester. It's actually quite difficult to reach the sea going west, as there's now a road that crosses the canal, and the pipe that takes the water is quite small. So having reached the road bridge, we've now turned round and we're heading back towards Hunston. Here's the clubhouse coming up now. Originally opened in 1822, the Chichester Canal formed part of a much larger network of canals and rivers linking London to Portsmouth. This included the Thames, the Way Navigation, the Way and Arran Canal, the River Arran, and then the Portsmouth and Arundel Canal. The main objective was to provide a link between the docks at Portsmouth and London without having to go via the channel through the Straits of Dover. England was at war with France at the time and so running ships through the Straits of Dover made them very vulnerable to French attack. However, the canal was never very successful as soon after it was completed Hostilities with France ceased, and so there was no real need to avoid taking shipping through the channel. Here we're just approaching the A27 road bridge, so we're just south of Chichester. The members of the club were all very friendly, and I can recommend that if you live in the area, it's worth joining them. There was an unusual layer on the water here caused by thousands of flower petals. Up ahead you can see the spire of Chichester Cathedral. And here is the northern end of the canal at Chichester Basin. Here is the wharf that was used mainly for offloading building materials and coal and taking away manure. After paddling the full length of the basin, we turn round to head back to Hunston. On a warm spring evening, this really is a very pleasant paddle. Not too challenging, but a nice bit of exercise. I can never resist the opportunity to film mirrored water. This pair of swans had so many babies! So here we are returning to Hunston with the paddle almost over. I hope you enjoyed the video. I like to make videos of shorter paddles as well as the big adventures because then it gives people of all different ability levels the opportunity of seeing how they can get out on the water. Finally, here's a map of the route and total distance was just short of 4 miles.